Beloved, my name is Onyeka Ibuchuku, my wife Ovenian, I am blessed to be part of the Central Manchester where I also serve on the prayer team. I'm truly grateful that you've joined me today as we take a moment to reflect on my favorite passage from the book of Proverbs, specifically Proverbs 18, 20 to 21, which says from the King James Version, a man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruits of his mouth and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life and the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. As we reflect on this scripture today, I want to remind us that words are one of the greatest assets we possess in life. Words have the unique ability to shape realities, change destiny, and bring permanent victory. When we consider the story of David in 1 Samuel 17, many might attribute his victory over Goliath to the five smooth stones he carried. But let's not overlook what truly brought him victory. It was his words of faith. Before David ever released the stone, he spoke words of power. He declared that the Lord would deliver him from Goliath. And his words set the spiritual course for victory. Similarly, Jesus exemplified the power of words throughout his ministry. His words healed, raised the dead, and cast out demons. In fact, the entire universe was created through the spoken word of God. If words can create a universe, imagine what your words aligned with God's will can create in your life. Words carry power and are filled with spiritual energy. That is why it's so important to be intentional about the words we speak. Make it a priority to invest in God's words. Just as you would carefully examine gold to ensure his quality, pursue words with the same diligence. I remember how my wife and I kept speaking words of faith about our son even before he was conceived. We consistently declared God's blessing over his life. Today, we are witnessing the manifestation of those words in his character milestones. Words are the currency of the spirit realm. They can open doors of blessing, healing, and breakthrough. So today, I encourage you to invest your life in God's words. When challenge arise, don't panic. Speak words of faith. Speak life and you will eat the fruit of it. Say this confession with me. My heart is a fertile receptacle for God's word. I decree and declare that my words are filled with life faith and power. My life aligns with God's plan and I enjoy undeniable victories and blessings every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me today. God bless you and have a wonderful day.